every time the CPS is taking your kids, that's when you know who God is. Right. Why is every time when somebody getting locked up, that's when we know what God is? Right. Because it's in the Bible. That's right. He said in affliction, they're going to seek me early. Uh, it's yeah. Through your trials and tribulations. But if the salt loses flavor, then what, what purpose does it serve? So I see you looking at the sign, sis. Tell me where you see yourself on that sign. So on this Thanks. side, your left side, you got what God calls it. That's right. On the right side, your right side, you got what our slave masters changed our names to. And it goes by your father. You are what your father is. Give me that uh, in numbers. You so-called American black, so you be from the tribe of Judah. That's you know right. You else come from Judah? All oh, praise to the Father. You on the right place, the right place. Give me that. Give me that. The Hebrews. Hebrews seven. You you are from the greatest nation on the earth, and you of the tribes. You from the greatest tribe on the earth. We are great, but it's somebody. The greatest person that walked the earth came from the tribe. Read it when you got it. That's the book of Hebrews, chapter seven and verse fourteen. Read. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. What happened? For it, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Did you know that Christ came from the tribe of Judah? That's right. Christ came from the tribe of Judah. And you just said you come from the tribe of Judah. So what that mean about Christ? He said what? Say, say it on the mic. What that mean about Christ? He's black. Yes, Christ is black. Did you know that, sis? All praise to the Most High. Again, you in the right place on the right day. You didn't know Christ was black. So come on over here to this side. So now you see you from Judah. Christ is Judah. But this is what we taught, right? <clears throat> if I asked your son who this is, he would probably tell me this is Jesus, right? Yeah. Hey, little man, who's this? Who, who, who's that? Who's that? It's okay. Yeah, who's that? You know, you know who it is? You know his name? What if I told you that this is not in the Bible? Because your mommy just told us she come from the tribe of Judah. And Christ comes from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Give me that Revelation 1. Start at verse 1. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the, re the root word of revelation is revealed. Christ is revealing himself. Jump down. Verse 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said his head, the hairs on his head and the hairs on his face were white like wool. Now let's look at these. Hey, hey little bro, take a look over here. Which one of these people got white woolly hair? Right. That's he, right. He, he's the one with the white woolly hair, right? So that's strike one for this guy. So we gonna, we gonna play a little, little baseball. Strike one for this guy, right? We all used to look like this. But then they start painting over it, and now it looks like that. Right. Keep breathing. As white as snow. Uh-huh, it means he was fully gray. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Hey, so come back, little man. So I want you to show me. Hey, which, which one of these guys got some, some red eyes going on? You see the whites in his eyes? They kind of red. Let's look at his eyes. Do his eyes look like that? Is this this one, right? So that's strike two for this guy because Christ, he had, he had red in his eyes because he drank wine in moderation. You free. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. So remember, the top said this is the revelation of Christ. This is the revealing of Christ. So the, this prophet saw his feet. So your feet, they might be a little lighter, but they're going to look like the rest of your body, right? That's right. Free. And his feet. Like into fine brass. You know what color brass is, sis? You know what color is like a penny? Like 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 a brown, right? Like the wheat pennies and all that. It's brown. But let's see how brown the Bible said Christ was. As if they burned in a furnace. He was what? As if what? As if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn anything, sis, what color does it turn? It turns black. That's hey, right. Christ was a black man. That's right. But again, then where did this come from? The Bible. We just, we reading the Bible, right? This ain't in the Bible. 
<laughs> but something closer to this is. So where did this come from? Give me that in Jeremiah 17. For too long, sis, we've been walking this earth. We call ourselves blacks. We call ourselves Hispanics, Native Americans. We don't know who we are. Right. But let's see why it happened. Read. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Read. And thou, even thyself. So he's talking to Jeremiah. Even you, Jeremiah, what's going to happen? Shall discontinue from thine heritage. So he said you're going to discontinue from your heritage. What does discontinue mean, sis? When something gets discontinued, it gets stopped. That's right. I'm going to stop all of Israel, even you, Jeremiah, from keeping your heritage. Read. That I gave thee. Because he gave us our, he gave us our heritage, what we eat, how we dress, right. the days that we keep us right. sacred. Read. And I will cause these to serve thine enemies. He's going to serve, we're going to do what? To serve thine enemies. So not only are you going to stop doing all the stuff you used to do, you're going to serve your enemies. Keep reading. Finish it off. And the land which thou knowest not, uh -huh. for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So, sis, and what point of time did we stop doing what we knew how to do and we served our enemies? I'm going to ask you again. During what time did we stop doing what we knew to do and start serving our enemies? What is this, sis? And it didn't just happen to us. It happened to the so-called Native Americans, too. That's right. What is this, sis? What's this called? It's slavery. Right. Our slavery is talked about in the Bible. Did you know that? This ain't the only place. This is just one of the people who talked about it. Give me that Deuteronomy. The Most High God said, what, what do you want to ask? Uh, we get to that. These are different idols and things that our people made up in their imagination while we was being wicked, while we was being punished by the Most High God. That's right. But I'm about to show you that this is in the Bible. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It's going to happen in the future. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to what I'm telling you to do. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. I'm giving you a stuff that I want you to do. You got to do it when and how I'm telling you to do it. Or what? That all these curses. All these what? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If you don't do what I tell you to do, a bunch of curses are going to come upon you. That's right. Jump down to 68. Let's see what let's see what one of those curses is. Verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Give me what Egypt is. Sis, do you know what Egypt means in the Bible? You know anything about the children of Israel? What, do we, what were we doing in, in, in Egypt? We were slaves. Now That's right. Get that out of the Bible. Because this is something our people don't know. Because we think them are different people than us. We've been slaves for a long time. Right. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Read. I am the Lord, thy God, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of Egypt. What is the God called Egypt? Out of the house of bondage. What's another word for bondage, sis? What's another? Bondage. When people are in bondage. What's another word for bondage? Slavery. That's right. Hey, come on over, sisters. We she talking about she wants to know her nationality. All praises. We talking about your nationality right now. Go That's back right. to that. Deuteronomy 28. Yes, sir. Just so, look at what God just told us is that he gave matter of fact, go back to 15. Go back to 15. Let the sister hear. Read it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. So this is something all of us need to know. We need to know, why is it that the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, why are we on the bottom everywhere in the world? Right. Not just in Detroit, right. not just in New York, right. not just in Baltimore, right. not just in Chicago, everywhere right. in the world. You could go to China, we're on the bottom there. Right. You could go to India, we on the bottom there. That's everywhere right. you see a bottom people, it's us. Teach. Why? Read it again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you don't listen to these words I'm telling you, something's going to happen to you in the future. And what's that? To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee. 
this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curses were going to overcome us and overtake us. So that means it don't matter where you see us anywhere in the world, we live in these same curses. Give me verse 37. What's your last name, sis? I'm about to show you a curse right now. Ford. Ford. Sister with the white coat, what's your, what's your last name? Williams. Williams? How about you, sis? You just Peaches? <laughs> oh, I'm crazy. All right. I'm pretty sure Peaches has a last name, too. Read this out the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So wherever you see us, people are like, wow, look at them people. Why do they live like that? We're an astonishment. We rob each other. Right. Single parent house home. Right. right. Worst education. That's right. right. Drunk on the corners at every time of the day. Right. Look at them people. Read. A proverb. A proverb. So, a proverb is a wise saying. What's some wise saying they say about us? Things that everybody know about so-called black people. Slaves. What we like to eat? Uh, huh? What we like to eat? Pork. Yeah, they do like pork, but they like chicken and watermelon. Right. You want to hide something from us, where you want to put it? In a book. Because we don't read either. We lazy. Read. A proverb. And a byword. And a what? And a byword. You know what a byword is? A byword is anything outside of what God called you. That's right. God called us Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon. Right. Right. That's right. They changed our name to everything else. Williams, Jones, right. Perkins, Jenkins, right. Perry. Everything but what God called us. That's right. right. A byword is any and everything outside of what God called us. That's just one curse. Go to 16. Verse 16, cursed shall thou be in the city. Look at Detroit. Okay. Is, is it like this out in Novi? Nope. A bunch of abandoned buildings? Nope. Nope. Bunch of people waiting at bus stops? Right. You know, needles and glass in the grass? Bring it out. Is it, a, is it a hot and ready station everywhere out there? Right. Is it a liquor store everywhere out there? Right. Because we're cursed in this city. That's right. We get the worst food. Right. We get the worst education. Right. We get the worst of everything. That's right. And then on top of us getting the worst of everything, then we hate and kill each other. That's right. right. Read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. We are cursed in every city we're in because they said that the, everything that was behind us, it don't matter where we went. If we go to the suburbs, guess where it's going? It's coming to the suburbs. We go to another continent, it's coming to another continent because it's gonna follow us and overtake us. Read the rest of it. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So, at what point, when were we cursed in the field? During chattel slavery, right? That's right. What about today? Are we still cursed in the fields? We still got people who have to do those, uh, what do you call them, yeah. seasonal jobs, getting two, three dollars a day picking fruit and vegetables. Right. But what about the regular job yeah. field? Do we get good jobs? No. Right. They give us the jobs that they don't want to do. We get to be a manager of McDonald's. Yeah. Right. We get to be the fly, the fryer, the right. burger flipper the custodian, right. them the jobs they don't want, them the jobs that we got because we cursed in the field. But what else happened to us when we was cursed in the field? Give me that in 32. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So back then we was given to another people, wasn't we? Right. Who was we given to? With the so-called white man, who That's else? Right. That's right. It wasn't just them. Look at our brothers over here. As a matter of fact, if you look down here, the so-called Arabs, they still got us in slavery today. Right. As of the 2000s, they still have our people in slavery today. That's right. Yeah, come on, come on closer, sis. This is your history. Right. This is what, what permeates with the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. You know why. Go down to uh, 68. As a matter of fact, no. We're not done with 32. Go back to 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. What's happening to the so-called Hispanics at the border today? What's happening to the so-called Haitians and those other people at the border today? 
All of these people getting on floats and rafts. They trying to climb gates. They doing everything to come to this country and what's happening? The adults are getting put in boxes and the children are getting taken away from the kids. Do they got any, do, have they had any power to get their kids back? No. These children are disappearing left and right. That's right. If somebody, if your child get mad at you and call CPS, what happened? They take your child. That's right. Do That's you right. have any power to get your child back? And they allow you to take them. So, why is this happening? Go back up to 15. Let's make sure we don't lose the thought. Because this, all of these things that happen, they happen to a particular people. That's right. God's people, the God. Israelites. Read it. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, if you don't do what God told you to do in this Bible, because he ain't talking to us no more. He talked to us back then, and guess what? We ain't listening. That's right. So he left this Bible. He said, if you don't do what I told you in this Bible, what? To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, Read. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So are we a cursed people or a blessed people, sis? What would you say? Cursed. We cursed, right? Because we got all this bad stuff coming to us. That's right. But is it happening for nothing? Or is it happening because we signed a deal with God and he keeping his end of the deal? Right. Because go up to verse 1. We didn't hear the good side. We just see the bad stuff because we've been living the bad stuff for a long time, right? That's right. Yes, centuries, thousands of years. That's Read right. verse one. Now, matter of fact, get Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Let's make sure we know who we're talking to. God didn't make a deal with nobody else. He made a deal with Israel. The only people that matter to God is Israel. He told us we are his chosen people. Read that when you got it. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. But who was it wrote to? It was written to Israel. So when we read in, in, verse, in chapter 28, go back to 28, who is 28 talking to? Is it talking to a different people now? In chapter 28, it's still talking to the Israelites. That's right. Let's get more proof. Go down to verse 68. Because the most high God, he not playing with us. He said, this is the deal. I'm going to keep my end of the deal, whether you keep your end of the deal or not. Read it when you got it. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God is going to bring us into slavery again. With ships. With what? With ships. Tell me, what nation of people? I'm not talking about a couple hundred people. I'm not talking about a couple thousand people. What nation of people went into slavery on ships? The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. right. We got brought this way. We went that, no, we came this way, and guess what? They killed so many of them when they took over this land. The few of them they took, they took them back that way. That's right. They went on ships going one way, we came going the other way. Right. We was going back into Egypt, back into slavery on ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Just like Moses is saying it's going to happen, it happened. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. As a nation, have we been back to our homeland? What's our homeland, sis? It's going to be Africa. It's a part of Africa. It's Israel. Yeah. If you look at where Israel is, what is it? North, Northeast Africa? Yes, sir. Northeast Africa. That's our homeland? Yes. Give me that in, uh... You got it? Yes, sir. All oh, praise, my brother. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4, and son. verse 26. So if you say Africa, you're not wrong, because Israel was connected to Africa. They dug a canal to separate it, and that's where the confusion comes in. That's right. That's right. That canal ain't but, what, maybe 100 years old or something like that, if that? Read it. And they redid the map. Right. To confuse up. Right. Uh -huh. Read. But Jerusalem which is above is free. Jerusalem is above all nations. Why? Because that's where God set his name at. That's where God put his people at. Read. Which is the mother of us all. That's the mother of us all. That's where we started at. That's where life started at. That's where the greatest nation came from. That's us, sis. Now go back. Finish out 28. You said what? Why is it so bad there? 
Cause we're not there. That's right. It's a desolation because the people who supposed to be there is all scattered across the world. That's right. Did you know that? We scattered across the world. For the sake, give me 32 and 26. We are scattered across the world for the very same reason. Because we don't want to listen to what God said. Read it when you got it. That's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 26. I said, I will scatter them into corners. We are scattered all across the world. It don't matter what country you go to, you're going to find us, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's Read. Right. I would make the remembrance of them to cease. But guess what? Nobody remembers us as what God called us. That's right. The Israelites. Right. They don't remember us that way. Why? Because they changed our names. Go back to 37. They changed our names. Why? So that we wouldn't know. So the higher ups, they all know. But the, the further down you go, we don't know because we confused and then we want to be them. Read it again. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Why we trying to be them, they trying to be us. Oh, and they did a, a damn good job of it too. They spent billions, trillions of dollars tricking the world into thinking that they are us. But look at that land. You just said it yourself. It's crap. Why? Because the greatest people that's supposed to be there, they ain't there. That's right. That's more facts. I'm happy y'all sister know that. Read it when you got it. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. So among all nations, you are a byword. They got different words, but how to even, uh, what would they call you? Whether it's a slave. You got mooly, right. you got nigga, right. you got spit. Right. You got all these different words that they use to refer to the same people. God only called us Israel. That's right. So sis, where you see yourself at on this side? Hey, come closer, come closer, come closer. I feel like y'all. I'm just gonna change my name to one of them. Yeah, and you, that's biblical. You supposed to, because that's what God knows. He not coming back for black. He not coming back for Johnson, because guess right. what? When he comes back for Johnson, this is what Johnson usually got on their mind. That's right. When work. he comes back for uh, Jenkins, this is what they got on their mind. But that's guess what? Work. We just told the sister that that's not in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. But what is in the Bible is that if we don't get our stuff together, God is going to continue to curse us. Give me that Hosea right. 5 and 15. He going to continue to punish us if we don't change our minds. If we don't change our ways. Ain't you tired of seeing your people shot down in the street, stealing from each other, drugging up, right. drunk, right. high all the time? Right. What did God say about that? Read it when you got it. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Uh -huh. I will go and return to my place. So he out chilling. He's in his place. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. We have to say, God, we tired of being drunk. We tired of being high. We tired of being whoremongers. Right. We tired of being whores. Bring it we on. We tired of idolatry. Because guess what? Until we say we did all these things, what? And seek my face. And we don't, oh God, we need you. We ain't nothing without you. We don't do these things, what? In their affliction, they will seek me early. Why is it every time somebody's shot in the street, that's when somebody's calling for God? Right. Why is it every time the CPS is taking your kids, that's when you know who God is? Right. Why is it every time when somebody getting locked up, that's when we know where God is? Right. Because it's in the Bible. That's right. He said in affliction, they're going to seek me early. Why do we have to be that way? Because we are hard-headed people. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.